Okay, we're back here at the Moore Jig Bore cutting a uh, radius. Just for fun, we'll try another um, angle here. I hope you can see that. It, it's kind of tough in this corner. Okay. They were continuing to uh, cut this radius uh, for, for this uh, part I have to reproduce. Um, it's a, a 5 8 uh, radius. So I got the tool set up in the uh, previous video. I showed how I did that. So uh, uh, let's get on with it. Okay, fire it up. I'm feeding it in about 30 thousandths at a time. Thirty or thirty-five. Okay. The worst thing that you can do uh, to a jig bore is not use it. Getting closer, see? There's uh, 30 more, but I'm getting dangerously close to that chuck jaw with the uh, with the boring head, so I might have to stop and reposition. And I hope I don't. Here we go. Ten thousandths and call it good. And I'm going to slow the feed down. There we go. Give it a thousandths and a half feed.
Oh, that was close. Okay, we're good. I had that in there pretty tight. And there it is. There's that radius. How about that? Isn't that nice? <laughs> okay. I'll get the camera off here. And uh, we'll look at a couple of things. Talk about the jig bar a little bit. That's kind of fun, isn't it? Now, this, these old jig boards, kind of cool. It's got an inch scale here. See this? You see how it, uh, you can set it? And uh, that works with the dials here. And uh, it makes it easy to position stuff. And it's got it on the, um, on the, uh, this axis too, 17 inches of travel. And to adjust it to zero, you just move this little thing here. Okay, you can keep track of where you are. And I use these dials, uh, like I like to use them to set the, uh, uh, like I set the radius, you know, find it in a center somewhere, use the DRO for, for everything else, but to come back to uh, a spot where I can uh, set the boring bars on center. Makes it real easy. Now, the uh, up here is your uh, feed selector. And it goes from, on a, on a more number two, it goes from six thousandths to a thousandths and a half. Now, I modified this machine. So it has the feed of a number three jig bore, and it gives a fine feed uh, below, um, below that. I even have it read up here what it is. Some uh, eight ten thousandths. So that's my fine feet. Uh, I might show how I did that if someone uh, wants to know. It's, it's not that hard, but I had to get rid of the original tack and put this uh, digital tack on here. And the other control up here is the brake. I'll demonstrate that. So you kick the, kick the old machine off, then you hit the brake. <laughs> but this also makes it so you can unscrew the uh, your spindle tooling. Now, I'm going to give you a really good tip. If you have one of these and the bearings are getting a little tired and uh, it makes the quill warm, you know, you can feel it, that the quill gets warm, uh, do not uh, put a cold tool into that and let the spindle cool down <laughs> because you can have a, a, a tool uh, stuck in the spindle. And that's one of the problems uh, that more in